Heather and Wong. And I'm Bill Ritter. We begin with those new developments in the decades old notorious murder of civil rights icon Malcolm X in Washington Heights nearly 57 years ago. Two of the three men convicted in his assassination to be cleared of all charges after a nearly two year long investigation that found the FBI and NYPD withheld key evidence that could have led to their acquittal. The real killer? Well, we may never know, but New York leaders now say they're ready to admit they failed justice in this case. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Johnson following the big new developments. He's live in Washington Heights. Anthony? Yeah, Bill and Sade, I'm standing at 165th and St. Nicholas Avenue, directly across the street, the former home of the Audubon Ballroom. That's where Malcolm X was assassinated back in 1965. And as you say, now authorities are saying that two of the men found guilty in that crime are actually innocent. If democracy means justice, why don't we have justice? Their names are being cleared after more than five decades. Muhammad Aziz, who's on the left, is now 83 years old. And Khalil Islam, who was deceased, were both convicted for the February 21st, 1965 murder of civil rights leader Malcolm X. It appears both the FBI and NYPD had information that would have exonerated both during trial but it was never passed to the prosecution or defense. The attorney representing the family of Malcolm X welcomes the news. Both men will be clear. It's very important to find out the truth about who killed Malcolm X, but it is absolutely important that people who were wrongfully convicted of killing Malcolm X are completely exonerated. Islam, who was known as Thomas X. Johnson, and Aziz, also known as Norman Butler, spent years behind bars after being found guilty. Aziz was finally released in 1985 and Islam in 1987. But their lives and families were destroyed. This announcement touches on a justice system that many say is biased. And hopefully that will set a precedent for other black men who have been wrongfully convicted in America. After getting word about his name being cleared, Muhammad Aziz issued a statement saying, the events that led to my exoneration should never have occurred. Those events were and are the results of a process that was corrupt to its core, one that is all too familiar even in 2021. On the 20th anniversary of the assassination, our Gil Noble documented the life and death of Malcolm X. Gil Noble knew Malcolm X personally from his days here in Harlem. It was 20 years ago to this day that Malcolm X was assassinated right here in this ballroom in front of 400 people. The exoneration came after Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus Vance reopened the case following a 2020 Netflix documentary called Who Killed Malcolm X and work done by the Innocence Project. It's been out there for a long time in plain sight. Everybody knew these two men were innocent and their families suffered so much uh, from this. Uh, it's just a shame that it didn't happen earlier. But An 83-year-old Muhammad Aziz is expected to be in Manhattan criminal court tomorrow afternoon when this case against him will be dismissed.